welcome to Marcela's Purse once again. I am Marcela and today I have this uh, little string pouch and it is uh, another oriental inspiration. It has um, this pretty flap at the, at the front and at the back and it's also based on the origami style of uh, making bags. I think it's if you see, you can just open it like that. It has um, a couple of pieces of ribbons to to close it, to pull the strings and, and close your bag. And, and I think it will make a really nice um, gift. Uh, and if you think of children, for instance, when they have a, a sleepover party or a birthday party, to make them as goodie bags. Now, it has these little corners here that serves as pockets although being quite open things might fall off so I think it's just more more the novelty but also for yourself if you go overnight somewhere you can carry your toiletries in a very fashionable way a regional bag and it's so simple to make as well just by folding fabrics as you see here at the end of the ribbons I just made a knot uh, for the ribbon but instead you could join sew the ends together and I slide the ribbon through the channel, through this channel where the ribbon goes, until you hide the seam, and then you will not have uh, any ends showing, like in my case. That's the only change I would do. And you only need a little uh, bit of materials to make it, and no interfacings or stabilizers. So I hope you enjoyed, and don't forget to subscribe. I have the two squares of fabric here and I have put the right sides together and I am going to sew them together around all the sides but I, somewhere I will leave a gap for me to be able to turn the fabric inside out. Uh, I will also trim the, the corners once I do the stitching and I will iron it as well. And we will go to the sewing machine now. I have sewn all around and I have trimmed all, all the corners. And I am turning inside out through the gap that I left. And I will on, iron this uh, flat. And I will meet you back at the sewing machine. I ironed the two pieces of fabric as you can see. And now I am going to do a top stitching around all the sides and in doing so I will be closing uh, the gap that I left open and the seam allowance in this case is going to be quite close to the edge so about less than half a centimeter or as close as you can to the edge I'm going to start here and I will sew along I'm using a matching thread to do this. I finished top stitching and I closed the gap and now I am going to fold the fabric. We need to find the middle point so I'm going to fold the fabric in the diagonal there and I'm I'm going to press there to make a fold and then I am going to fold it in the other direction. I'm just doing a chalk mark there so you can see better. And I fold it in the other direction, in the diagonal as well. And I will fold it again, making sure that everything matches. Fold it there and I can see that's the middle point. So I am going to fold one corner over, just passing over the middle point, and the other one coming over, so this overslap. And these spaces here and that one should have a square shape. So if you fold it over, I can see it's off-centered. And this one here 
and it looks like an envelope so there we have our envelope shape there and I am going to pin oh, this one is a bit twisted accommodate so you make sure it's nice and straight okay so I am going to pin there and here these are the two that are overlapping and I am going to draw a straight line just across that point there the middle point and use my ruler and my shock I'm going through that point there and on each side of that line that I did I'm going to draw another line which will be a uh, half an inch which is about uh, let me see my measuring tape here half an inch is 1.3 centimeters on each side here are the marks that I made this the middle point there, the middle line and one at each side here and I'm going to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew along this one and along this one right, the two uh, lines there, the stitching uh, they have a distance between them of about uh, one inch, which is about one and a half centimeters there. So I am going to open this up and fold it in half, matching all the corners. And I am going to sew there along here, along here, from there to uh, there and if you look on the side here you will see the, the two lines of stitching that I did match so I will sew there and I will sew here here we are now I am putting my hand inside and if you look inside you will see the fabric there oh, and I have a pin and I'm putting my hand through there through the corner and flatten it up and I will do a stitching here you will see uh, why you did the stitching before of the lines and I will draw a line because this um, line across goes over the stitching that you did previously uh, the line should be uh, one inch, which is about one and a half centimeters, uh, sorry, two and a half centimeters wide. So, match everything inside. So, this seam is matching the line that, the middle line that we drew earlier. My ruler is slippery. Right there. So I'm going to do a stitching along there, across there, and I will do the same on the other side, making sure that I'm not catching anything that I shouldn't on the inside. I did both corners and I'm going to turn inside out. And with that stitching, we created a square bottom there. Okay. 
now if we put it on the table what we have to do now is fold this over like so the same with the other one and just do some some stitching fold it neatly and do a top stitching on only one of them first one top stitching here about half an inch three quarters of an inch a, a gap so that you create a gap a tube inside uh, big enough for you to put the ribbon you have chosen through so we have to do this here from this end to the other end and the same here I will remove this so I can put my bag neatly over the arm The stitching is done along here and along there. And I'm taking here one of the pieces of my ribbon. I put some um, safety pin and I'm just going to slide it from this end, make it come on the other side. So one piece of ribbon has come through and the other piece I shall put from the other direction, so here are the first two ends and this piece will go from this side and it will go around to come out here. We have now the ends of the ribbon on each side and all we have to do is make a knot on each end quite taut, quite tight I should say. And we have a pretty string bag and it's quite an original shape. We have a little pocket there. It's a nice size inside. It's a, a lovely little thing. If you use a children's fabric, uh, you can do some goodie bags when the children have a, a sleepover perhaps or a birthday party. There you are. I hope you enjoyed this one and happy sewing and I will see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe.